Okay guys, Sam here. So I'm gonna quickly show you the iPad um, embedded SIM. So currently there is no SIM card in the uh, this iPad Pro that I have here, 9.7. So here's the beauty of this iPad Pro. There's currently no SIM, SIM card, physical SIM card inside the phone. But, uh, and I'm in Canada right now, so you won't see the AT&T, T-Mobile and Sprint options on here. Um, but you will see the Giga Sky and the other one. So here's the beauty of the iPad Pro 9.7. It has the Apple embedded SIM in it, so you don't need to personally insert any SIM card if you're using one of the available services. So in Canada right now, you could only get use Always Online or GigaSky uh, because the big uh, carriers here are not partners for the Apple SIM. But in the US, you have T-Mobile, AT&T, and uh, Sprint, as well as GigaSky. You'll see that as well on there. And I think Always Online is also an option on there. So the beauty is you don't need a SIM card if you're traveling the world. You simply just fill out the uh, account information on here, sign up for a plan that you need, and go from there. So it's pretty cool with this one. Uh, Apple has given you by the hour options, or these companies provide you different options depending on what you need. And then you could pay by the day, megabyte, and things like that. So they'll give you a certain amount of data, and then you go from there. Obviously, one of the best options you could do is, I, I'm not 100% sure, but if T-Mobile offers a uh, global roaming with their iPad plan, then obviously that is probably one of the best options for the US customers. But for everybody else, one of these two is pretty good. And I do want to recommend, if you guys have the time to invest the money in it, the Freedom Pop uh, World Sim. It comes with their $50 um, hotspot, which you have to get with the hotspot. You cannot just buy it otherwise because they're currently sold out and the World Sim has been sold out since pretty much day one. So I think personally their plan is just to sell enough hotspots to make up for the cost, but it gives you 200 megabytes per day to roam the world. And there's a whole bunch of different countries like Europe, US, Asia, and things like that. Uh, sorry, and places like that that are covered. So you guys can have a check uh, on the Freedom Pop website. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys are interested in that. But otherwise, there's options for all of those online, which allows you to roam the world and GigaSky. Sorry, GigSky. These guys are pretty big companies, and they allow you to roam the world for a set amount of dollars for a set amount of data, depending on which package you go with. So the convenient feature is I, I hope that uh, Apple adds this kind of feature in the iPhones in the near future because... Rather than roaming the world with your current SIM card, if, especially for most of us that are not lucky users like T-Mobile users, um, we don't have this option to roam the world without paying extra. So this is a really good off option because a lot of the airports require you to pay a hefty amount of money. So if you can use one of these wherever you land and you have the cellular iPad, you're really ready to go. So this is all I just wanted to show you guys. So without the physical SIM card, you can still get cellular services on the iPad Pro Cellular. Uh, 9.7 only so this is the first iPad Pro or any iPad first Apple device actually when it comes to iOS first iOS Apple device to feature the embedded Apple SIM so I'm sure in the next generations of other devices offered by Apple this will be a reality so I'm very excited to see this I'm excited to use this sometimes down the road I'm sure it'll come handy because there's been quite a few times in the past where I've traveled and I was not able to get any kind of internet access because one I didn't want to pay for that. Uh, the airport charges it was too expensive, and two, getting a SIM card wasn't an option. So with this, we're ready to go right off when you get off the plane. Sign up, and you can enjoy the internet. Do what you gotta do, and maybe even share through hotspot. So thanks for watching the video. Hope this get this video is helpful to you guys. And one last thing, actually, I do want to mention: all iPads are unlocked now. AT and T and Verizon most likely will disable the embedded SIM if you purchase the iPad Pro from them directly. But if you purchase the iPad Pro from Apple Store directly, then the embedded SIM will be enabled 100% on all carriers. And you could still go ahead and pop a traditional SIM card into the iPad Pro 9.7 and use it as you like. So this is about it. This is a very simple video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So once again, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, concerns, please leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer you guys. And if you guys have any other videos or anything else you want me to go over, again, let me know. We'll take care of that. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.